Blender's update schedule has just been announced and it introduces a subtle change that will make a big wave in the community. I'm talking about a wave that is gonna impact developers, users, and add-on makers alike. Let me explain. With Blender 3.4 still feeling fresh to most, the team of developers at Blender announced that they're actually gonna be changing how many releases that you get per year. They're going to be releasing less updates per year and that's actually a really good thing. Let me explain. So for the past couple of years, Blender has stuck to a schedule of releasing four updates per year with only one of them being the actual LTS or long-term support release seen as the most acclaimed and awaited for release of the year. Now, even though most people would assume more releases and more updates is better, ultimately it actually puts a lot of strain on the development team, introduces a higher level of overhead to release documentation and support these different releases. And then for the actual users themselves, it makes it pretty difficult to keep track as to what changes are most important and what things they should be taking into consideration when updating. In fact, one of the biggest, most popular comments that we get whenever we talk about a new Blender update is that most users are still grappling with the changes from the last release. And it just feels like they're always playing this carrot and stick game in which whenever they move forward and finally get a grasp of the release, then bam, all of a sudden there's a brand new one coming out from the development team. And it ends up creating this cycle. Every time there's a release, you just feel like you're catching up to the last one. So Blender changing their release schedule from four releases per year to just three releases is a really, really good thing. This means that there's gonna be less documentation for you to have to pour over. There's gonna be less downloading, less development stress so that the team can actually iron out whatever kinks and introduce features that are more fleshed out. And and also the add-on makers don't have to constantly keep updating, constantly chasing the newest release and making sure that their plugin works for it. So yeah, I think everyone wins in this case. Now, don't get me wrong. For those of you who really love the updates and are always thinking, man, I can't wait for Blender to get some new features. Don't worry because new features are still gonna get pumped into the releases. There's just gonna be less releases overall. So what does this mean for 2023 and Blender? Well, the release schedule is gonna look like this. At the end of this month in March, we're gonna see Blender 3.5 piggybacking off of Blender 3.4 from earlier. We're still going to be getting an update pretty soon. And then the next update is going to come with Blender 3.6 in July of this year. And the main big release, which is Blender 4, is going to be coming out later this year in November. So I still think that there's plenty to look forward to this year. And I'm super happy that the Blender development team has decided to change it from four releases to only three releases a year. Shoot, one of my biggest gripes with Adobe is that it seems like they're always coming out with releases and it's super annoying having to update my software only to see that pretty much nothing has changed or to even go through the process of updating expecting a new feature to be there and then it seems to be super buggy and possibly break other features of it as well the goal for the blender team with this change is to keep having major version releases every two years and the lts or long-term support releases having support for two years ultimately they're hoping that this gives the developers more time to code users more time to test and it'll ease up the maintenance from the add-on makers and studio users. Yeah, so pretty awesome stuff coming out from the Blender team. And if you guys have not caught up to Blender's newest release, all of the awesome updates and features that they added in the last release, I recommend you check out this video. We talk about the best of the best new features in Blender. So make sure you go ahead and check out that video. Or if you guys have already caught up and you wanna check out some awesome uses of AI in Blender, I highly recommend you look at this one. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.